Okay, in this quick tutorial, I will show you how to create, in my opinion, the quickest way to um, actually lay out a trifold letter size template in InDesign. All right, let's get started. Next up, let's create our template. Okay, in a trifold brochure, you actually have six pages or six panels three panels on one side three panels on the other side or three pages on one side and three pages on the back side so let's set that up right now so i'll say new and then what i'm going to want to do is i'm going to i'm going to give this a special size i'm going to make that 3.7 inches wide 3.7 inches wide and 8.5 8.5 inches high. I'll make that six pages, six facing pages, and just for this exercise, I'll change the margin to a quarter of an inch. So that's 0.25. All right, so six pages, facing pages, 3.7 by 8.5, and we'll say OK. So as you can see, we have our six page document. While we have six facing pages, this is not really a trifold brochure. In other words, it's not a trifold template because we need to have three pages on one side and three pages on the other side. So let's fix that. What you want to do is in the page palette right here, you want to highlight all six pages. So click on page one, put your finger on the shift key, click on page six, and you have them all highlighted. Now that you have them highlighted, go to that upper that, that grid in the upper right hand corner, drop down to it says allow document pages to shuffle, tap on that so you deselect it. Once you've deselected it, tap on page two and three. Put your finger on the shift key while you tap them, two and three. Put it next to page one, then tap on page six and move it next to page five. Now you have a, you actually have a trifold template to start with. But we're not going to stop there because there's one more thing that we need to do, which is very important. Okay, here's the final thing that we need to do, which is very, very important. And that is with a trifold brochure, you always have what they call the short fold. In other words, there are pages on the ends that need to be shorter because when they fold in, they cannot touch the actual fold of the previous panel. So it has to be a short fold. And in many cases, what it is, it is page one of your of your front side and page and, and page six, which backs up page one on the second side. So let's start with page one. Make sure you double click on page one, go to the page tool, tap on that, and change that to 3.6. Okay, and then double click on page six using the page tool and make that 3.6. Okay. Now, and as you can see, the page actually shrunk as far as the width is concerned. Now that you have those two panels actually shortened, if you add 3.7, 3.7, and 3.6, so remember, in this case here, let's look at the um, let's look at four through six. The first one, 3.7, the second one, 3.7, the last one is 3.6, and then on the first side, the first one is 3.6. The second is 3.7, and then the third is 3.7. If you add 3.6, 3.7, and 3.7 up, you're going to get 11. And here's how you can test that. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to export this out as a PDF file. I'll just call this one test. I'll make it a print PDF, save it to my desktop. I'll say save, and then I'm going to say print spreads and I'll say export now once I've done that of course it's a blank page but if you notice if you mouse in the lower 
left-hand corner of your Acrobat, of your PDF file, you'll see it says 11 by 8 and a half. So that's how you create in InDesign a template for a trifold letter size brochure. Hopefully that helps.